All right, guys, welcome back. Seven Days to Die with Medius' survival series here. We are still down in our little makeshift mine here. We're... I wanted... I heard zombie noises, so I wanted to start recording again because I don't know if a zombie is digging his way down here. There shouldn't be no way that I should hear a zombie down here. No way. All right, we gotta go see. Up! Oh, I knew I heard an airdrop. I knew I heard it. See, I dug down here. It's like, am I hearing an underground zombie? How far away are those things? Dude, I could not run through that bush. Uh, let's see, let's eat some food. Are those stuck in the air? Nope, they're falling. That one's falling. What about the... Oh, there it is. All right, we're going for it. We're going for it. Oh, no. I lost the... All right, we're going right straight for this one. Don't... Don't disappear. Don't disappear. Did I hear another one? What the... Does it do two at a time? Oh no, it disappeared. There it is. I still see the uh, parachute on that. Is that one bugged out? Is it? St oh no, it's stuck up in the air. Nope, it just hit the ground. No, the parachute's still on it. What the heck's going on? They they're like farther away than they actually look when you first start running toward. Oh, it's over in the... This is where that other one got stuck, remember? <sighs> remember where the other one got stuck? Look at... Oh, it's in the water. It's not good. That's why. Just take it all. I can't see where that other one was. You know, as soon as I run away from it, it's going to appear. It was over there somewhere. Oh, no, those just... Did oh, my gosh. It's a little buggy with the, the thing disappearing. Hey! Hey! Well, I got one. What did we get from it? We got food, bandages. Basically, food and bandages, I guess. These guys look like they're going toward the airdrops. I just, if you, sometimes like when you look toward it or look away from it, they reappear. That one's gone. I do not see that one at all. <laughs> I like hitting them in the face. So, oops, sorry. So, um, it seems that they, they might run two, two at a time. Where am I? I'm right here. Look like those dropped right in here somewhere. Run kind of back toward the house, see if they'll they'll reappear. So we're making a pretty cool underground thing right now. That plane I was right in this area when it when it flew over. So I wonder if if even if the um if the orange goes away, if you can actually find the thing, if it's still there. I really have... I don't really have an angle idea of where that one dropped. I only saw one as I turned back toward the other thing. Okay, so if I was right there, it looked like it was that way. Get out of here. Get out of here. Uh, if you don't hit him in the head... Anything? Kind of hard to make out. Everything looks like a square box in the distance. Uh, it's not going to reappear the orange for me, is it? Hmm. I think, like like the zombies, they pro it probably disappears. Because the zombies, like after you kill them... It's only a certain amount of time and then they disappear, so I imagine the airdrops do too.
I don't see... I don't see anything, and I don't see it like... This is where I thought it was approximately at, like right... Right in here somewhere. Because it looked like the plane was flying across this way. We'll go a little bit farther. I think they probably disappear. Maybe if they're too far away from you. Or you don't get to them in time. Don't see it. So I missed... I saw a total of three. I got one, so I missed two of the airdrops. Hmm. Yeah, we're right we're right where I thought it was. It's good to know though, like if you know maybe if the if the orange disappears, maybe that means that's it, it's gone. So if it disappears and doesn't come back, then you just don't don't worry about running all the way over to it. Sneak attack. Sneak attack. See, that looks like a box, but it's a rock. Yeah, I think it's gone. <sighs> unfortunately. What kind of um stamina does this give us? Nothing. Oh, okay. That's why I use the honey, because it gives you 40, plus 40 stamina, plus hydration and fullness. So the honey's really good. All right, where is the house? House is over there. Heck am I going? I still keep pivoting around to see if maybe the orange smoke comes back, but just a thought. There's the road. Uh, where's the junction? Is the junction over there? No, dude, the junction's over there. Wow, I get lost so easily in games. You know, I was playing DayZ, and I didn't know, I didn't know any better, but I thought the sun, I, I was, think, thought the sun was like in the west, and I kept trying to go to, to a certain airfield, and it was like, I ran and I ran, thinking I'm going the right way. And I ended up like going south, right? I'm like, what? So I kept like trying to keep the sun in front of me and, you know, I'm like, oh, this town must be this, you know, looking at the map. And dude, I kept getting so lost. I was so frustrated that like, if say that this town right here in front of me is where I need to go, but it's just out of sight. I end up thinking, I, I could see, okay, follow this little road, and as it turns, keep going straight, right? Well, I would, like, start off the right way and literally end up going this way, the, the opposite direction, halfway across the map. And I'm like, oh, I must, be, I must be in this town right next to it. And I was. I was nowhere near it. Like, there's no way that I went that far in the opposite direction, but I did. I ended up going in totally opposite direction. Stupid gets lost i don't play i didn't play the game enough to like really know um landmarks and locations i needed to have the um the date like the uh the, oh nice that's a good pull right there fatty did good just heard someone else the crawlers the crawlers are kind of scary because they're like hidden they're hidden in the ground i'm i'm gonna need to make another pickaxe no one's been beating on this thing while I was gone. Alright. Let's go see if we hear any zombie noises down here again. Because I heard them right over there. I'm trying to dig around the pillar. Make a cool looking little kind of room here. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to try it. Have the pillar like in the center. All right. So this is our this is our pathway up. I could probably do with getting rid of this little piece. If it only don't dig into the floor, please. Just there we go. Yeah, that's what I wanted. That's good. You can still walk up, right? You come down into here. 
Do you hear that? Dude, I can hear someone. Oh, there's no way there's zombies underground digging through stone with their bare hands. No way. No way, Jose. I hope not. Come on. I'm going to have to go make another pick. As soon as this one breaks, we'll go make another pick. can dig around this pillar a little bit without messing it up maybe like the, the pillar being in place will actually like hold some stone or something maybe i don't know and you get some more honey pretty soon because honey makes the world go rounds delicious oh jeez Oh, I thought that was it. Did it look like this pillar moved when I did that? That was a little scary right there. That was a little bit scary. No one saw me come out of there. There's no humanoid down there digging. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Alright, we need some of this. And... What else? What else? We need um, sticks. Pickaxe. Yep, sticks. And I got one stick. Okay. And where did I put it? There we go. I can hear someone walking around outside. Oh, somebody's hitting something. All right, give my pick back. Uh, let's see. Rock, stone, big. Oh, big stone. Oh, 64. Okay. Stone. Put our ingots back. Uh, we don't. Yeah, let's keep some wood. We don't need the scrap iron. Let's, see. let's lamb. Large beef ration. Dude, someone's going to town on my stuff. Bandages. No room in that one. We'll put them in here bullets dude i want to get down there because they're being mean right now i'm gonna keep these to see if i can make some landmines maybe uh everything else is pretty good i guess put this away oh that goes there all right i gotta get back down there they're beating on my stuff is they beating on this yeah they're right here get out of here dude and you nurse how did you hit me how did she hit me? That guy was going to town on this. This holds up pretty good. This reinforced stuff. I think it's holding up pretty good. They seem to break these two next to the door. It's almost like they don't go for the door, which is good, right? I don't want them going for the door. Huh. 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 These guys are tough. Those guys are t nice. So shotgun shells, water. All right, I'll take it all, whatever. All right, no one's going to see me sneak back down into the mine. I just heard somebody. This guy. You know he's going to come straight over and start beating on the walls. If they see you, they'll try and follow you down. All right, let's see what we got going here. So we're starting to open it up. I'm still going to try and dig around this pillar again. Hopefully it doesn't mess me up. Almost just spilled my water. I'm digging with one hand. Alright. How's that look? It seems to be working okay going around the pillar. Come on, man. I want a nice looking room. Room with a view. <sighs> man, I get out of stamina so quick. The only good thing is it's not like I'm wasting this because my, my fullness and, and hydration is down as well. So it works pretty good. All right. Could almost walk around the pillar. This needs to go.
like I want to be careful where I'm hitting because I want I want to try and keep the the right shape to the room. Mm, mm, mm. Give me the stone. I gotta I gotta look back and see what the what the big stone was that I was trying to build. I was trying to build something. Maybe it was uh, concrete or something. I don't remember. I don't remember what I was trying to build, but it said stone. I'm like, oh, I got a bunch of stone, but I have small stone, which can then be converted into sharp stone. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm out of breath. All right. Wow, look at that. Look at this room. It's really taken shape. See, like right here around the pillar? It's taking good shape. I'm just curious if they're going to be able to come down in here and break in. Because I can hear them. We're down low enough where if they're on the surface, there's no way I should hear them. No way. Right? I wouldn't think so. I think um, we've been doing this for for like two episodes. Two or three episodes? Two episodes. Um, I think next episode, I will. we're going to go on an adventure. We're going to gear up with weapons, ammo food you know that kind of stuff and we're gonna go see if we can find something you you know unique that we haven't seen or found yet i think that'll be fun i think that'll be fun Try, I'm trying to keep a a variety of of stuff that i'm doing so it's not all one thing but it's just this is the first time we've you know, last episode or the episode before that was the first time we tried to build anything, right? And then this is the first, these are the first time that we're digging down. I mean, look at this. How cool is this thing? We got pillar. We got kind of a room taking shape here. Looks pretty good. So you could put a bedroll or a bed down here. You could put a chest down here. Keep all your stuff down here. I guess you could... You could probably use like wood, like make the pillars, right? In the corners or something. And then come off of it with wood and feel like you're actually in a wooden room rather than just in a, in a, um, in a stone, air, like underground. That might be kind of cool. Like kind of like a, a real mine where you, you literally line it with, with wood, with not with just pillars, but with, with actual wood. That'd be pretty cool. It's so hard to see with the, the textures and stuff, like if I'm actually hitting hitting the right stuff and keeping the shape correct. It looks pretty good so far. Like I want kind of like a wall looking thing like that. Like see that one's in a little bit deep. I guess if I took this out, I don't want it to dig down. So we need to come around here. I'm going to do it on two different levels, like go across at this level and then go down the next level, see if that works. Something like this. Maybe. Like that, right? And then now go back and hit the lower part. shaping my room. It's shaping up to be something good. <sighs> yeah, I know I'm out of breath. Not much for stamina. That doesn't look bad. That goes in right here goes in a little farther than I wanted, but it doesn't look bad. We we're able to dig around the pillar and the pillar actually goes up in. It's almost like really really reinforced there. It'd be cool maybe to dig another pillar in, maybe over here. Let's try that. I got four. I have four pillars. We'll try and dig in double, double deep here. Like that, right? And then here. Do you see how that, that busted up in the air? I wonder if there's like a game mechanic that says, look, if, if you start to see it do this, it's time to put a pillar in place. And you can get it up in there like that. Right? How cool is that? Pillar, pillar. <laughs> Got a nice area in between here. Might be able to take some of this out. 
square the room off just a little bit. Not square it off, but um, make the walls a little straighter. I don't want to do too much because I don't want to destroy my walkway. <laughs> there and here. There we go. Man, that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Walk down in here, you got your little room. Um, we could probably put, do with another torch right here. Put another torch over on this guy. Look at that. That is awesome. I really, I'm really digging this. I think that this is going over pretty far that way. I don't, I don't know exactly like how far you can do things before you really should put in a pillar. But being that it's all stone, you would think that it would be pretty strong. I think maybe I'll dig, and then if it, I see it blow a hole either up or down, I'll put a pillar there. That's pretty cool. I like it a lot, man. Trying to just square this thing off. So next episode, you guys, we will go on an adventure and see what we can... Um, so we've got a pretty good stock inventory of stuff like to make things. You know, I've got enough iron to make my tools. I've got wood uh, to make my, you know, pillars and, and building materials. So that's pretty good. I would like to find some new uh, weapons, right? So there's some things that I can't craft. I have to actually find them. Like there's a sniper rifle and you actually, I have the sniper rifle stock, I think. I think you can make the stock and the barrel, but you can't make the bolt. So you got to find the bolt. And I want to I wanna find that. And then there's an SMG. I think there might be a, a schematic for the SMG. The SMG shoots 10 millimeter. And the sniper rifle shoots uh, the 7.62. And I've got I've got some of that. Um, I've got some of it. I know. Actually, no, that stays there. Um, I know I've been collecting some of it off those cops and stuff. All right. That wall's looking pretty good. Wonder if there's a uh, any any other tools like I know there's like um I know there's like power tools like an auger but I think it's it might be for melee rather than look at this this is really this actually looks like maybe I should dig in right here and and make a pill put a pillar there and be done with it um let's craft two more so we have three it seems that three is like the magic number for the height that I have here <laughs> put another wood pillar in make it look good you look good all right where, where were we gonna do that right right here I think okay and here kind of cool because they they kind of fill themselves into the rocks come on oh yeah see how it broke up right there let's see what this looks like get one more up in there look at that that looks like like it's been totally built in that one and this one like they really are are built in to the rock. I like that one over there that we just did because you can only really see the two and it looks like, yeah, man, mining. So like I can open this up a little bit, but look how much room. You can put a bed right here, put some chests down in here. I think it's pretty cool. This area here could, I could do with a little bit of, if I just could take a little bit away without ruining it. Yeah, that's see that's a little better it's a little better this here I really messed up having to jump up and out of the thing crawlers seriously get out of the grass I'm trying to be all sneaky sneaky 
All right, guys, so next episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and get rid of all my stuff, and next episode we are going to go and try and find something, anything. That <laughs> plant's in the TV up here. All right, guys, I will catch up with you guys next time. Thanks for watching.